This week with the Long Beach Post, we're talking about how Long Beach sports is going to be walking into a winter wonderland this year. For the first time, maybe ever, all of the winter high school sports here in Long Beach are starting the more league schedule before Christmas. We're talking uh. about both basketballs, both soccers, water polo, and wrestling. It's crazy. But it's not the only thing going on with these winter sports. I mean, we've got thick storylines, thicker than the three-layered fudge your grandma used to get you for Christmas. In both boys' and girls' basketball, we have a total of two Division I teams, Long Beach Poly and St. Anthony. Both boys' and girls' teams making it into Division I this year. As you probably know, teams move up and down in divisions thanks to this new competitive equity model that actually existed in basketball for a little bit longer. And those uh, movements have created some interesting scenarios. We have four girls' basketball teams in the CIF rankings, including Compton, which started out the season ranked number one in Division IV AA. Can't even express what a huge deal it would be to see Compton compete for a CIF championship in girls basketball. More league soccer will never be the same. New field turf at Wilson, Pauley, and Cabrillo will change the way high school soccer teams play here in the city. For example, it's raining this week. If it were raining this week, last week, we would not be opening more league girls soccer play this week because the fields would just not be able to hold the competition. But now the style and the way you win in more league is gonna completely change because you're gonna be able to move the ball on the ground and you're actually gonna be able to use the wide open spaces. Long Beach is known for being an athletic league. If you can actually be able to practice using wide open spaces, Long Beach soccer may get better year in, year out when they're actually able to play the real game. One sport that's never bothered by the rain, girls water polo, where Wilson is coming off a Division II CIF championship. They are ranked again in CIF this year, and almost the entire team is back off that CIF championship squad. But the big story this year may be Wilson is not the defending league champion because Long Beach Poly beat them last year, and you know a talented Bruins team is going to be hungry for revenge against a Jackrabbit squad that graduated most of their top talent. It's no surprise that Milliken is once again leading local wrestling here in Long Beach, but I think the biggest story for local wrestling is that girls wrestling is gaining more momentum than it's ever had. The girls teams here in the local area started just a few years ago. Milliken has been the front runner, as you might imagine. Marshall Thompson just having a great program built over there. But look at Wilson, for example, a second place boys team last year that now looks like they're gonna have their best girls team ever. Because if you just give the sport a little bit of support, guess what happens? It grows. So more league wrestling could be better than ever this year. Previews of every team in every sport are up at the 562.org either now or in the next couple of days. We'll be covering all that stuff coming your way at the 562.org.